Today we have the preliminary winners from last night of former Miss Arkansas and Miss Arkansas Outstanding Team. Stay tuned, you're watching AM Arkansas. Welcome back, I'm Taylor Tackett. And I'm Libby Luttrell. So last night was another really stiff competition here. Our very own Telvin Griffin has exclusive interviews with last night's prelim winners. Telvin. Well guys, I'm here with Kristen Glover and she actually won the evening gown prelim last night. You might remember her from yesterday's show. Now Kristen, kind of tell the viewers how that went yesterday. Yesterday I competed in evening gown, which is presence and poise, and I competed along with all the other contestants in group C. Mm -hmm. um, it was a lot of fun. It was a night that I was looking forward to, and uh, definitely a dream come true to win that preliminary. Now for all the little girls and little kids out there that dream to be Miss America, what's some advice that you can give to them? Just to be yourself. I think that it's really important while you're competing not to compare yourself to other girls or compare yourself to even other queens or want to be like them, but instead realize that you have your own gifts. You have beauty inside and outside and to embrace that. Embrace yourself. Well, there you have it coming from your prelim presence and poise winner, Miss Kristen Glover. Well, I'm here with Miss Dorothy Shepard, and she was your winner for Alpha and your prelim winner for the swimsuit contest. Now, kind of give the viewers and let them know what that is and how you went about winning it. Well, it's just the swimsuit contest. I wore a yellow swimsuit, um, and, you know, just preparing for it, just eating healthy and working out and things like that. So. Now, when Rick called your name, what was going through your head while you were on stage? Oh, I was just really excited, and since it was the second prelim night, it just really pumped me up for tomorrow night. Well, tonight, now evening gown is tonight for me. Now tell all the viewers who actually watch uh, this pageant nightly on the Ustream, tell them what this, what this week has meant to you. This week, just to even be here has meant a lot to me, and just to even make it to the state level, all of these girls have worked so hard, and it really does help you to become a well-rounded individual, and so I really like that about this organization. Well, there you have it, your swimsuit alpha and prelim winner, Dorothy Shepard. I'm with Bethany Bell, and she was your alpha and prelim winner for talent playing uh, classical music on the piano. Now, Bethany, tell the viewers who you're representing today. Well, my title is Miss Crowley's Ridge, and that's a pageant that's in Pickett, but I am from Blytheville, which is also in the Northeast Arkansas area. Now, tell the viewers why you chose to play classical music on the piano and how much practice went into that. Well, I've been playing for about 10 years. So that's the overall practice. Um, the piece took me a couple of months to play, and I chose classical because it's what I'm most comfortable with, and I really wanted to be comfortable while I was playing on stage, and I really enjoyed myself. Now you're on stage and they're getting ready to call the winners. What is going through your head before Rick actually calls your name? Well, I really, really, really wanted to win Alpha Talent. That was one of my main goals in coming to the pageant. And it was just amazing to win that. I felt like, you know, my goal had been achieved. And then the extra bonus was winning the overall talent. That was extremely, extremely exciting. Okay. Now, any advice that you can give to any other girls in the state who actually want to uh, compete in the Miss Arkansas pageant? I would say definitely invest in your talent. It's one of the most important areas. Um, really, really focus on your practicing, and hopefully you have an amazing teacher. Um, that is one of the most important areas, so really invest in that and have a great time the whole time you're doing it as well. Well, there you have it, investing in your talent coming from Miss Bethany Bell. Well guys, I'm here with Helen Weisner. She's actually a student or graduate, shall I say, from the University of Arkansas. And she won your Alpha Evening Gown last night, Presence and Poise, is that right? I'm learning. Yes, sir. I'm learning. How, what actually went into preparing for the Presence and Poise uh, section of the Miss Arkansas pageant? Oh goodness, actually a lot more than you would think, especially with the dresses. My dress did not get finished until the Saturday before the pageant. So wow. I was freaking out and it's kind of, Learning how to walk in them and stand in them and just the proper etiquette, all of that is really hard to think about all at the same time. And I know that might sound silly, but it really is. When you're on there, such all these eyes are looking at you, you're being judged. It's nerve wracking, but at the same time, it's, it's awesome. Now this week has been a busy week for you. Tell the viewers who are watching right now, tell them how, what, this, what this week has meant uh, for you. For me, it's been a dream that a lot of girls never get to do. And I came here with certain goals. 
and I've surpassed those goals and that has been an amazing thing in itself because I really didn't know that I could do this and I, I could fit in this fast and I could, um, I don't know, show my talents the way that I have and it has built confidence and made me feel like a better person and I mean all the girls are awesome. They're all great girls so it just makes me feel like I, I, I'm a step above what I was. Now any advice that you could give to any girls in the state of Arkansas who want to compete in the Miss Arkansas pageant in the near future? Um, for a newcomer for me, like me, I, I would say confidence, really building your confidence and learning to love yourself. And I know that's kind of cliche, but honestly, that's the only way that I got as far as I did, really knowing that I was worth the things that I was doing. I was worth winning bathing suits. So I was worth doing those things. And because of that, I worked harder and I succeeded. Well, guys, there you have it, your Alpha Presence and Poise winner, Helen Weisner. Uh, she will be competing in the talent section here tonight, so be tuned in uh, here for the Miss Arkansas pageant. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Selvin. Now we have Derek standing by with tonight's guest MC, Miss Arkansas 1987. Derek. I'm here with former Miss Arkansas Carol Lawson. Now, Miss Carol, tell us like what the honor is to be Miss Arkansas. It is um, so rewarding, mainly because of the work that's put into it, and then to receive the honor of Miss Arkansas and the privilege is um, hard to put in words. It was a great year for me. I was a junior at the University of Arkansas when I won, and I uh, laid out a school that next year and um, represented the state. And now Miss Carroll isn't only just a Miss Arkansas, but she's also former Miss University of Arkansas. Now tell us what, what all you did at the university. Um, I was there, I finished there, but um, up until Miss Arkansas, I um, did win the title of Miss University of Arkansas. I was a journalism major, advertising and public relations. I was um, in the Pi Beta Phi sorority and on the Pom Pom Squad, so I stayed busy. So, like, not only are you just a former Miss Arkansas, former Miss University of Arkansas, but tonight you're actually hosting or co emceeing tonight. Uh, what, what's the preparation in doing that? Not much, except I'm you know, not often on stage in high heels anymore. I live in Vermont. I raise three boys and do a lot of snow skiing. So, um, but I do um, teach product training seminars for mass market cosmetics. So I still do um, presentations and um, speaking. So that helps. Uh, but I didn't really prepare. I'm just um, looking forward to being back and, and being up there with Rick. Now you hear it here, guys. And back to you. Now the Miss Arkansas senior team just won her title a couple of weeks ago. And Miss Ashton Campbell is standing by with Derek now. I'm here with Miss Arkansas's outstanding teen Ashton Campbell. So what did you have to do to actually get this title? Well, I competed in the pageant about roughly two weeks ago, and we do preliminaries. We do two nights of preliminaries instead of three, like the Miss Arkansas does. And then we have a top 15, and it's narrowed down into a top 11, and from there we're crowned. So, like, during this competition, what, uh, like, do you guys do talents? Do you do evening gowns? Like, what, what do you do during the competition? We do the same three things. We do evening gown and on-stage question, and then we do fitness and lifestyle, and we do talent. And so, like being Miss Arkansas's outstanding teen, what do you have to, what do you go out and do outside of pageants? And do you go to events where you just go meet people and help fundraise? Or, you know, what do you do outside of the pageant world? Well, we do a lot of events and a lot of fundraisers for the Children's Miracle Network and the Arkansas Children's Hospital. But also we have like personal platforms or issues that we support. And mine's bridging the generations and it's breaking down communication barriers. And so when I go to schools, I just go and talk about that and talk about um, the importance of other issues that are facing these children. And just one more question. Will we be able to see you here in future events or here in the future Miss Arkansas competing? <laughs> Yes, I do plan on, at some point in life, uh, participating in the Miss Arkansas program and competing. Well, you hear, it, you hear it here, guys, and back to you. Thanks, Ashley, so much for joining us today. And last night, Telvin got to sit down and speak with Buddy and Carolyn Coleman, who have been an important part of the pageant by giving a scholarship award for talent each year. Hey guys, well I'm here with the Coleman's, Miss Carolyn and Mr. Buddy, and they've contributed to the Miss Arkansas pageant for more than 40 years. You guys, how have you enjoyed this pageant so far? Well, I'm really sort of a newcomer to it. I've only been married to Buddy 26 years, but we have enjoyed it, and the connection with the Coleman Dairy and the pageant is that Buddy's sister-in-law, Sarah Haley Thomas, was one of the few first Miss Arkansas. So that's why Coleman Derry got involved with the pageant 
and has been connected with it all this time. Okay. Now what we it, love it every every sure. year. It's fun. Now what does it mean for you guys to be able to contribute to the pageant? You know, all the girls, you know, seeing them in the dresses. What does that mean to you guys to be able to come back and see that? Why it's wonderful, and if we just we're the ones that benefit because they're so beautiful and they're so talented, and they try so hard, and it just makes me want to cry when I see them up there, you know, doing all these wonderful things. I don't know how they can dance so beautifully. Well, I tell you, we're truly blessed to have you guys a part of the pageant, and we hope that you enjoy the rest of the week. Mr. Buddy, how you doing? Doing great. Thank you. Great. Good to see you guys. You guys have a great rest of the week. Thank, Thank you. you. Guys, back to you. And to add to that, our current reigning Miss Arkansas, Elise Edie, did win that award last year, and we'll find out Saturday night who the new recipient is. And to add that now, Derek Brown and Derek Burrow is going to give us a history of the Miss Arkansas pageant. Hot Springs, Arkansas, known for many attractions like the Arlington, Oaklawn Park, and even the Miss Arkansas pageant. In 1933, Miss Arkansas pageant started, but in 1950, the pageant moved to Hot Springs. It traveled all over the state and it was in different places and um, in 1958 Hot Springs became the permanent home which is something we're very proud of and we like to keep here. We want to keep it here. Director of the Board of Executive Kelly Bills' dad actually made the pageant to what it is today. When it was going from city to city, Bill Muncrief, um, he was uh, the executive director at the time and he lived in Hot Springs and had a printing company in Hot Springs. Well, he asked my father to be to step into the role of, of executive director of the Miss Arkansas pageant and he also sold in to the printing company so my dad bought part into the printing company so it was kind of a, a conglomerate but they they had a great friendship and my dad from that point took it um, to probably the great great association that we are today now the Miss Arkansas pageant is more than just a competition. It will help build skills that they'll use throughout their life in the future. It's not just winning and it's not just winning scholarships. Sometimes you meet people for great job opportunities, for romance, you may find a husband here. I mean th this genre is such a great opportunity for young women to look pretty, hone up on their interview skills for jobs. It's a great learning experience and there's so much more taken than just the scholarship. We're very proud of that but we do so much more than just scholarship. Reporting for UATV, I'm Derek Frail. Thanks, Derek. And we also want to give a special thanks to our viewers for watching us this week. So tonight you can get two free tickets to the show by answering our question and answering it on Twitter at UATV Online and also at Miss Arkansas. The question for tonight is to answer who the new Miss Arkansas Outstanding Teen is. And remember to tag Miss Arkansas and UATV Online in your tweet. Please remember to tune into our live stream of the last night of preliminary competition. Thanks for watching AM Arkansas. I'm Taylor Tackett.